Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to increase the efficiency of SOLIDWORKS in your PC. Okay, so if you have a low spec PC and you want to know how to increase the efficiency of your SOLIDWORKS in laptop, so let's see. So here you can see I have created this part. Okay, but uh, now notice carefully that I have only two features, post extrude and extrude cut. But here if I go to the part 2, this is exact same part but it has more features so one thing that you need to make do whenever you create a part always always use less number of commands to make it okay so the question is why and why i need so as you can see i open the files where i save it so this is part one okay so so this is part one only two commands okay and part one is 92 kb but the part two is okay and the part 2 is basically contain more features so as you can see the size of the file is increased so higher the number of features higher will be the size and it is a, not a good thing uh, neither for your simulations or you know client base because it increases unwanted load on your pc on your ram on your processor so always make sure whenever you make a part or assembly use less number of uh, features okay lesser the features or sketch uh, the better will be the uh, memory management in your software okay so this is the first thing now uh, what other thing you can do is you can see it's quite shining looking material so basically what I have done is if I go to the view and display you can see I have on real view graphics always switch off your real view graphics why when you switch on real view graphics it going to put a load on your processor so if you don't want to put unwanted processor so don't do that and as i told you earlier that in increase the size so when you make a big geometry trust me guys higher the number of features higher will be the size so always make sure less number of size uh, less number of features and remove this rendering and what are the other ways to you know so this is a part that i quitted now i don't know whether you are able to listen or not but my fans start making noise why because it contains something called threads and it consuming a lot of memory for my pc okay so how what i can do so that i can you know browse easily so what you have to do is when you have complex geometry design and assembly what you have to do is for example this this part is consuming a lot of memory in my pc simply right click on it and click on suppress when you click on suppress basically what is happening it's hide all the it's hide your part and it saves a lot of you know your memory your part is here but all i have done is i suppress you can also use hide if you don't want to suppress okay but by suppressing you uh, you might but by suppressing what you have what you have done is you have suppressed all the mates as well so what you can do is select the component and click on hide components you can also hide it okay okay so this is a remember suppress basically fully suppress the component it means all the mates that associate with it they also you know no will not work so you can do many other things but hiding means only hide its mates will work when you do something okay so this is the thing that you need to understand and again always always make sure that you suppress the heavy parts or that contains more detail for example threading is the basically most difficult thing for my pc to handle whenever i try to do you know animation and motion analysis it always uh, most of the time hang my pc or laptop okay and Try to use sub assemblies instead of you know using parts and again and again. When you use sub assembly, it will create uh, you know less load on your PC. So don't use you know parts. For example, this is a part. But what if I've done is I've created assembly somewhere else and import that assembly. So when you import assembly into a bigger assembly, okay, those smaller assemblies called sub assembly. So in that way, you can reduce the load on your PC. And just for all, so I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.